Let's get all of our AEW questions out of the way right now. Please. Jim, another popular topic. I don't know how much of this you've seen. I wasn't totally aware of everything. I had heard whispers a while back, but we received a flood of emails. Whispers? Whispers? Whispers, stories. But we received a lot of emails and even some tweets about Kenny Omega's comments about the audience of this show and all of the Jim Cornette programs being low IQ. And his tweet where he said it's finally time to assume some responsibility and dial the online persona back a bit. Of course, what he forgot is that it's not an online persona. But this triggered a lot of the low IQ hey, listeners. I just luckily haven't spent much time around him in person or he'd know that it's a, a full-time persona. But this apparently triggered some of what he called our low IQ audience here to send in something. I'm going to read two different emails because it covers it from two different ways. Tell me what you know about this, if anything. All right. This one was sent to cornydrivethrou at gmail.com from Crappy King Dre. Hello, Jim. I recently seen comments Omega made on the Sportster in 2018 for booking and producing a known convicted child sex offender. What? At, I think it's CEO X New Japan Pro Wrestling. I don't know how exactly they pronounce that. At their event. In the statement, Omega said that he met the offender in 2004, the offender was convicted in 2011, and there are pics of Omega and the offender together in 2016. The child sex offender brags on a podcast that AEW rented his ring for the Darby and Sting versus Team Taz street fight. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I heard, I heard something about this, that there was some stink... Uh, because they rented a ring from somebody who had a sordid past. I remember that from what? Was it a couple of, well, not even a couple of years ago. No, well, this is... They've been around that long. Yeah, well, that was a couple of years ago. The Darby and Sting oh. match was just a couple of months ago, but... Uh, the well, wait, no, wait a minute. This was a couple of... They rented a ring again from the same guy that people were complaining they rented a ring from before because he's a sex offender? Again, just based on this email, the quote is, well, the quote, what the email says is the child sex offender brags on a podcast, AEW rented his ring for the Darby and Sting versus Team Taz pay-per-view street fight, May 2021. Oh, wait, the, with, that was that cinematic thing, Correct. right? Yes, yes. So they just, they, this wasn't a show where they had to advertise anything or anybody had to be seen putting a ring up. It was over in the warehouse somewhere, so they called the offensive person and said hey send your ring over do you think kenny omega has a low iq for constantly helping a convicted child sex offender hashtag aew running a sloppy shop and Jesus. I'll read no I, th I honestly i think kenny omega just has a low iq in general and is fucking dull-witted and goddamn boring and fucking uh a shitty wrestler but you know, that's just my opinion. Well, again, a lot of people were triggered by Kenny's behavior online and started pointing to this. Another email here, cornydrivethrou at gmail.com from Mike. Hi, Jim. Did you happen to notice the hypocrisy of one Kenny Omega on Twitter when he said you should, quote, assume some responsibility for the idiot fan running in on AEW? In 2018, he booked an actual sex offender. Do you want me to say the guy's name or not? Well, can we get in trouble? Or is it public record? It's public record. I think then I think our hands are clean. An actual sex offender named Chasen Rance. What a name. Chasen Rance. What a stupid name. At he one of his Chasen Chasen fame. At one of his CEO Times New Japan Pro Wrestling shows and certainly didn't take what any is a, responsibility. Wait a minute, what is a CEO Times New Japan Pro Wrestling show? What now do they have o Olivier? Actually book and spot. Oh, you, you know what that is? is something. I think I know what it is. It's the computer electronics thing. Remember they did the match where him and the Bucks dressed up like video game idiots? Like they were in Street Fighter 2? Yeah. Yeah, that's what Oh, I remember seeing pictures of them. No, th they did that on their TV. Yeah. I think, I think that may have been one of these events, but. So this is just, so, okay. So he's got a child sex offender at a video game convention? Well, let me just bring up. Why not give the arsonist a can of gasoline and a blowtorch? When this was first happening a few years ago, this quote here is from 2018, and people were getting on Kenny. Kenny, who stresses that whoever it is that encourages fan needs to accept responsibility, here's his quote. I don't even feel it's worth my time to respond to people that peg me guilty before proven innocent. Yeah, 
Let's talk a ton of shit about a guy. And if he doesn't run to defend himself, to my negative comments, he's a bad guy. Really? You want an answer? Try kindness, politeness. That was Kenny's response, apparently, to people calling him out for booking what apparently was a convicted child sex predator <laughs> to be involved with AEW. This fucking well, you know clown. What, you know what, that's fuck. the thing, this fucking clown. <laughs> when, he t- when he told me it's my fault and that I should dial my persona back and I answered him, I don't have one because I'm not a phony fucking asshole like you are, dipshit. And uh, fuck off. It, that it basically, he wrote back, well, I've admired your work on Dark Side of the Ring and think you're a great historian and wish you nothing but the best and well in life. And then a bunch of people, see? Oh, Kenny, he's a heck of a guy. He's trying to be the big... No, he's a fucking smartass. He was told to dial it back. Either that or somebody told him to <laughs> yeah, dial that's it That's right. That's right. <laughs> and it, it, But he's obviously... It's tongue-in-cheek. That's like as phony as a get-well card from an undertaker. So, uh, but I guess his... His milksop Casper milk toast fans that he has believe when he's disingenuous and complimentary toward people. There right. is an overall disingenuousness from that whole Young Bucks Omega camp. It's not all of AEW. It's specific to the douchebag camp. <laughs> Completely disingenuous. And you know what's an interesting exercise? Now, some people in life, sometimes they get bitter about business deals that go wrong. That happens. But even when talking to them, the truth comes out. Go talk to Ring of Honor people about the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. That's some interesting stuff you hear about the manipulation and the douchiness. But that's all I have to say about that. Any- maybe, we, maybe we ought to change their name. Instead of the Cucamonga Kids, we ought to call them the Massingill Bunch. <laughs> I don't know about that. Anyway. Well, Jim, our next question. Which one do you think has the biggest nozzle? <laughs> 